Welcome in everybody. My name is Moxie. Today I'm going to show you how to use your kick chat to kick off commands using another program called Lumia Stream. It can also integrate into your streamer bot if you use streamer bot. Hopefully you like what you see. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to navigate over to uh, Lumia Stream. You're going to want to download their free application to kind of get yourself started. So, so what you want to do is go ahead and head over to um, Lumia Stream. Check the link down below in the title description. You're going to scroll all the way to the bottom here. You're going to go free for Windows. You're going to save this in your downloads folder, wherever. Go ahead and launch it. And we're going to go ahead and run through the install. Make sure you get it installed into the location that you want. We're going to run it through and we're going to launch this directly from the install. And once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and log in. You can log in down below with Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, or Trovo. I'm logging here with my email and password. So once we're logged in here, go ahead and allow access to any firewalls that come open. And go ahead and on this, my dashboard, this gives some tips. You can keep those. We're going to go ahead and just close that for a time being. And here you are. This is the interface. You got uh, all your information down below, but we want to make sure that we get into these connections and check where we're at. Currently, only Stream Deck was open, so we need to make sure we add a new connection. However, this version is not the beta version, and it doesn't have kick availability. So we need to make sure we update that. So we're going to go into our settings. We're going to go to general and we're going to click this update button here. Make sure the allow beta releases is done. And we're going to go ahead and update now to 7.0.beta.6, which allows for kick integration, as you can see there in the first feature. So let's get that installed. All right, we've got this updated we are back in you can see down here it says 7.0 beta 6 and now we can go ahead and get our kick connected to our lumia stream so go to connections and hit add new connections and go ahead and search for kick you're going to see it there we'll check the box and we'll click connect it's talking about experimental blah 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 when type in your username and hit connect and boom, we now have kick connected. So let's go ahead and add some commands. So what we're going to want to do here is we're going to go ahead and we're going to scroll up to commands. And these are the defaults. So we're going to want to get rid of these. These are for lights that we don't, we're not using right now. So select the first one, select all, and then hit delete. And that should get rid of all of those. And we can now start to add our commands. So go ahead and click the big red button. And if you don't have anything else, we're just going to click audio because we're going to use audio as an example. We're going to select our audio file and we're going to use this one here called bro milk. And we're going to test it. We can hear bro milk. Test it. We can see it pop up here and I can hear it in my ears. Bro milk. There it is again. And we're going to go ahead and just hit complete. After hitting complete, you're going to see that there's other options like a cool down. If you want to add it, you can go into, you can use a global cool down that you can set up or you can create an individual. We'll make this one 10 seconds. You can also change the cool down message. We're going to leave it as a uh, standard here, but you can use variables. You can also use different tiers to make them uh, available to only subscribers or VIPs. So we'll hit complete. And we're done with this. We have a cool down in the step. Now we're going to create the 
command that chat's going to use to launch it, which is going to be bro milk. We're going to type in a, a description for the commands page so people know what it is. And then we're going to hit next step. And this is how long the duration It's not really necessary, but you can uncheck any of the subscribers or uh, if you're not using any of these, if you want it for everybody, you can just set those. But you need user in order to test it here on kick as there is no option for a streamer. So once that's in, we can go ahead and refresh and then we'll go ahead and pull up our uh, kick chat to test it. We'll go ahead and pull over our kick chat here and we're going to go ahead and type in exclamation bro milk because that's what we need. And we want to make sure that that shows us that it's working. We'll minimize this a little bit and we'll see that right in there. So we're going to hit exclamation bro milk. It may take bro a second milk. the first time, but you can see it popped up right there. So let's go ahead and try it one more time. So you can see it exclamation bro milk. Bro milk. And there you go. The audio pops up. Everything's working. It's as simple as that, guys. You can create more commands to your heart's desires and put them in here. You can also make them subscriber only, VIP only, OG only. That's uh, it's as simple as that. Now we're going to get those kick subscribers and, and levels going. So let's go back to our dashboard and then we're going to go ahead and go into the commands list. And then head over into chat commands and then let's go ahead and go to user levels. And then by default, it has everything, but we want to select this one here, kick. So we'll go ahead and click that and it will automatically give us our user options. There's no OG badges, VIPs, mods, and subscribers. Anyone is anyone. A user is technically a follower. So you want to make sure that these are here. If you just have kick, if you have Twitch, make sure that you connect your Twitch and another option will show up for you there as well. Go ahead and hit refresh and we should be good. You know, you can see that our commands here for users levels is now user mods, VIP subscribers and anyone. So we're going to uncheck everything because we're going to only allow this for subscribers. But if you need to test it personally, make sure you check user. Otherwise you won't be able to test. Just re remember to turn it off when you're done. If you uncheck anyone, all these people will be able to actually play it. Hit apply, hit refresh and we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to get streamer bot integrated into this. All right, guys, make sure you have streamer bot running and we're going to add a new connection. So we're going to go down here to connections. We're going to click add new connection and we're going to type in streamer bot. We're going to select streamer bot. This is where it gets kind of dicey. Make sure that this matches your streamer bot. There's some information here on the right hand side that will walk you through, but let's go ahead and show you how that's done. We're going to go over here to the servers and clients tab. We're going to make sure auto start is checked and we're going to start our server. That's it. You can go ahead and minimize this, move it out of the way. We just want this WebSocket server to start because we're gonna access those actions. Make sure that they match, hit connect, and if it comes up, you should be good to go. Hit refresh, and bada bing, bada boom. Now, if you're like me, streamer bot is where everything that I have is located. So you wanna integrate that into that. So we need to add a new command. So we're gonna do bro milk two as a test. So we have one test action here that's gonna play bro milk. And we need to do that through streamer bot. So we're going to do add command instead of doing audio like we did before, we're going to go ahead and connect this to streamer bot, which is really simple because all you're going to do is you're going to scroll down and you're going to click streamer bot. Once in here, all the actions should pull through since we only have one called test. We're going to drop that down. We're going to select it. They match up. 
we're going to click add action. If you hit test action, Bromo. it should play, which it does. We're going to add that action and we're going to hit complete. If you want to do a cooldown or another trigger, you can do all that here as well. We're just doing this one. So now we need to make this bro milk two so that it differentiates between the two. So bro milk two, and then we're going to call this bro milk for streamer bot. Obviously you don't need to call it that, but this is just for visualization purposes for you guys. Once we've named this, we'll hit next step. We don't need to worry about any of this. Again, we're just testing, but set your user level to what you want and complete. Now we can go back into our kick and go back into our kick channel. Uh, and we can put in, oh, make sure, make sure we refresh this. Just kidding. We're going to type in bro milk too. And we're not hearing anything. Oh, we need to hit refresh. Once we refresh, we'll go ahead. We'll go ahead and down here to bro milk two. bro milk. We can test to make sure it works, but we're going to type in bro milk two. And then bro milk. wait a second. There it is. And you can see by the actual logs in the command uh, in the chat log here, you can see that streamer bot sent its test uh, action and Lumia found that trigger bro milk two with inside the chat. So it's really as simple as that guys. Uh, you can add as many of your commands from streamer bot as you want and uh, kind of move it along. The only thing is, is you're limited to eight. So you got to pay for that pro subscription if you want to get as many as you want unlimited features. So guys, a very simple way to integrate your kick chat with Lumia stream to kick off triggers for audio or visuals, many other things, as well as a very basic way to integrate Lumia stream into streamer bot. So you don't have to recreate all your streamer bot actions. Now, all of this will go away once the API comes into play and we can just utilize streamer bot directly, but that could be a couple of months. That could be a, a year from now. Once they release that API, this is a great way for you to utilize Lumia stream to get those commands that you so want in your kick chat. So many other things to do with inside Lumia stream, but that's for somebody else to cover for now make sure if you liked what you found today like and subscribe we will see you guys next time love you